Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing a video that is very long overdue, and I must apologize to uh, my good friend Dan Hood for the uh, for the delay. Uh, this video is on a fantastic frame that I've had for many, many months, and I've really taken my time to appreciate everything that's gone into the construction and design of this frame. Uh, that frame is the Stealth Shot. Now this is absolutely beautiful frame. Now, this one's made out of black phenolic or uh, micarta. Uh, just a beautiful construction frame. It fits very well in the hands, very comfortable. The handle is phenomenal. It's not too big, not too small. The waist is a perfect size. And just the fork, the way that the Ocularis plugs sit in the fork tips. I want to put the bands on so I can really choke up on that. And that's just a beautiful frame, absolutely comfortable to hold, wonderful to shoot. One that I have had either in my pocket or in my bags I'm walking around for many, many months. Uh, a couple things with this frame, uh, when I was speaking to Dan about this when he was designing it, or shortly after he came up with it, um, there was a couple things that he said there were some influence. Uh, of course, some of those were um, Nathan from Simple Shot, Eric from Metro Gate Goods, and a couple other builders that, you have to forgive me, I, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, but one of the things here with the fork gap, it's a pretty small frame, but the fork gap is pretty generous. So you could easily shoot this TTF if you were so inclined. Uh, the fork gap itself is almost identical to that of the Maxim Ocularis. Uh, if I hold these up together here, on my end, I'm not seeing any pregnant any overlap. It's just beautiful. And if you've seen my videos in the past, you all know my affinity for the Maxim as a whole. A couple of the things with this design is the handle, uh, the shape here, you can kind of see a little bit of Axiom influence as well as the Oren a little bit, kind of just the overall general shape. Um, the contour here, the handle, if I can move my hand out of the way on my big head, you can see here the kind of the shape mirrors that a little bit of the Oren. A couple things that I really noticed once I got this that you can't really see in, in the pictures that Dan has posted of this frame is the frame itself is pretty narrow here at the forks and then widens up to the handle and then tapers back down again. Meaning this is absolutely comfortable to hold. It just fits the hands very, very well. The only complaint I have with this frame, this is very minor. Um, is that there are no band grooves or anything on the top here. But for a safety reason, I can definitely understand why those are not included. If you look at the tips, that is extremely thin around where the plug goes for the hole. There's not a lot of material here. And if you were to add in those band grooves, that would definitely weaken the material and potentially make this very unsafe to shoot. Uh, other than that, this is definitely one of my go-to frames. I absolutely love it. Cannot recommend this frame enough. Uh, beautiful construction. Uh, Dan has also since started to include some different uh, material on the palm swell. Um, he's done some, I think, some video resin stuff, uh, a couple other things as well that just really make this frame pop. Uh, he's, he also has made himself an aluminum frame, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so if you all know Dan's work, Big DH2000, you know the quality that he does, and this particular frame is absolutely no different. This is top quality work from a fantastic uh, craftsman uh, that I am very fortunate to be able to call one of my good friends. So I recommend getting all the Big DH2000 and picking up one of these frames. Um, can't recommend this enough. This has easily become one of my top go-to shooters anytime I'm out and about or in my garage shooting in my range. Anyway, uh, y'all have a good day and get out and do some shooting.